DMX's album, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. Now, I, ever since before I was DJing, I was a huge DMX fan. Hmm. Now, obviously for me, that was like, I would say that was a huge breakthrough project for you as a producer. You're obviously heavy, heavily involved mm -hmm. in that. Now with the album cover as well, was so mm. different to everything else that was going on, yeah, you on point. in that era, you know? Yeah. And uh, so for me, like, I wanted to ask you, did you have any involvement around the, the visual side of it? Because that was real artistic art cover. I mm. mean, it's, it's groundbreaking what DMX Definitely. did with that album. I mean, I give that props to Jonathan Mayan, the, the photographer. You know, he's iconic when it comes to taking uh, hip hop photography. Not only hip hop, but like, he made a big splash in hip hop. And I remember seeing that cover, and I was like, "What are we doing?" Like, I I, was, I, I didn't like it at first. I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't exercising my artistic vibe like like I am now. Yeah, I appreciate it now more than I did then because we were so street at that time. It was just like, "Come on, man!" Like, what are you? I felt like we was crossing over too much. Right. You know, it was just like trying to be rock and roll or something. I don't know. It just didn't click. I was like, "Man, like this is." I'm used to seeing him with a dog and. Yeah, hundred yeah, goons on the or that's corner and, somewhere. Yeah, 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 you know, I just I didn't I didn't couldn't believe that we did that cover and it became a big hit. You know, well, one of one of the most fundamental albums in hip hop in my hip hop mm. history, especially because I grew up listening to to a lot of DMX. Man, those two um, albums. Sorry, while while it's been brought up, those two albums. So it's dark and hell is hot. Mm -hmm. Straight followed by a flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. Is it true that that was made in thirty days? Yeah, yeah definitely. And Leo Cohen, I read, offered him, he said to him, I'll give you a million dollars if you get the second album out by the end of the year. And that was Flesh was, of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. It was probably a bet like that. Yeah. Man. Yeah, we did that. Miami, we just went crazy. Yeah. It was That's fun. Cool. It was a fun album. I mean, it's not hard to make albums when you, when you got a chemistry, you know, and then when you're hungry at the same time. The, the thing that slows down the process is people get lazy mm -hmm. and then they get comfortable. So you'd rather be on a vacation or you'd rather be with your girl or you this or you that and BSing outside. Our ribs were still touching at that point. Like we were successful, but we still didn't make the transition to understand superstardom, right? We we still was like halfway still in well, more than halfway still in the streets. And um and more than halfway. <laughs> definitely. And we were, all the success was just happening, you know, and it was just like oh, it was like we was just we just did something over here, but we on the stage over here, like yeah, right. It was, it was definitely like in and out, but we we had to like finally make that transition and just say, you know what, let the goons be the goons and, and let us just be the artists because you can't you can't do both. No. You know, like you could be official and thorough like me. I know who I am. Like I don't act to act tough. You don't see a hundred people in here with me. I don't got no fake security because I'm not scared like that. It's like you know like. It's all about your energy. You know, at the end of the day, you're either a real person or you're not. Like, that's something the 100 bodyguards can't protect you from because it's you, right? It might protect you from that moment of, of those people being around you, but you still got to live with yourself. So it's just like, I just choose to just, we got to, you know, we chose uh, to stick to the music.